So we want to prove that yk is 2 to the power of k is a solution to this difference equation. So the way we're going to prove it is that we start with one side of this difference equation and then we substitute the solutions to the difference to one side of the difference equation and check whether it is the same as the other side. So we start with the left hand side. So the left hand side is yk plus 1 minus 2 yk. All right. And then right now we substitute it into the left hand side. Um, since yk is 2 to the power of k, then yk plus 1 would be 2 to the power of k plus 1. You simply need to replace the k by k plus 1. And then you minus 2 times yk. yk is 2 to the power of k. So this is 2 to the power of k plus 1 minus 2 times k to the power of k plus 1, which is 0 and is the same as the right hand side. So um, is it the only solutions? The answer is no, it's not. So um, you can also check that yk is 3 to the power of 2, sorry, 3 times 2 to the power of k, yk is 4 times 2 to the power of k, yk is 1 fifth times 2 to the power of k. All of these are also the solutions to this difference equation. And then you can check by starting with the left hand side, you substitute it, and then at the end you can check that it's the same as the right hand side. So, um, and then you, you may also know that like, you may also check that like yk is um, 1000 times 2 to the power of k, yk is uh, 0 0.1 times 2 to the power of k, all of these would also be a solution to this. And then we call them like things with a fixed number. So here like 3, 4, 1 fifth or 1000 or 0.1 with a fixed number, we call them the particular solutions of this, right? But then in the examinations, it is impossible to write down every single answer, right? You know that there are so many answers, so it's impossible to write down all of these. And then what would people do? So people would write down y k is equal to c times 2 to the power of k. And then c is an arbitrary constant, which could replace which could be anything, and then you can substitute it by 3, You can it can be by 4, it can be 1 fifth, it can be anything. So. If you have a specific number, then we call it a particular solution. If you have a C which represents everything, then you call it a general solution.